Who will win the new race to the moon? The U.S. once seemed the clear favorite, but China's steady progress has shifted that confidence. Many experts now warn China could arrive first. So what must NASA and SpaceX do to stay ahead? Let's find out in today's episode of Great SpaceX. The United States secured a decisive victory in the first race to the moon during the last century. That historic achievement continues to resonate even today, not only in technology, but also in spirit and confidence. Experience and determination remain two of the most important advantages for the U.S. as it enters a new chapter, one that is not only about returning to the moon, but also about establishing a sustainable human presence there. Yet, while belief in America's ability to lead remains strong, doubts are beginning to grow. These doubts arise when one compares NASA's pace of progress, along with its industry partners, to that of its chief rival, China. The contrast becomes sharper when considering not just timelines, but also the strategies each side is pursuing. Dean Cheng, a well-known expert and analyst, and analyst who has studied China's space program for years, recently shared his insights in an interview. He reviewed China's progress and its methodical preparation for landing humans on the moon, then compared it with NASA's approach. His conclusion was striking. At the rate things are going, sadly, it seems quite likely that the Chinese will land on the moon before NASA can return to the moon. This conclusion is not without reason. It is built on tangible developments that show a growing gap in momentum. Let us first examine the timeline. On paper, the U.S. is ahead. NASA, with the support of SpaceX, has targeted 2027 for its first crewed lunar landing under the Artemis program. China, meanwhile, has publicly stated a goal of landing its astronauts before 2030. By schedule alone, America appears to lead. But the pace of preparation tells a different story. China has made remarkable progress in just the past year, advancing hardware and systems directly tied to its crewed lunar mission. In June, China successfully completed a pad abort test of the Mengzhou spacecraft. This test demonstrated the spacecraft's emergency escape system, a vital safety measure for protecting astronauts in case of a launch failure. Only weeks later, in early August, China carried out a simulated landing test with its Lanyue lunar lander, building confidence in its ability to safely touch down on the moon's surface. Shortly after that, the nation's upcoming lunar rocket, the Long March 10 achieved a full-duration static fire test with seven YF-100K engines roaring at full power. That successful test was both a literal and symbolic boost to their lunar ambitions. China's efforts extend beyond Earth as well. Over the past decade, it has quietly built the most reliable record of lunar landings in the world. While other nations, including the U.S., have faced challenges in recent attempts to land on the moon, China has not only succeeded multiple times, but has also expanded its capabilities. It has landed on both the near side and the far side of the moon. It has demonstrated advanced abilities such as sample collection and return, including from the far side, something no other nation has achieved. These milestones show a program that is focused, consistent, and steadily building confidence for the larger leap of landing astronauts. Of course, challenges remain for China. The Long March 10 rocket, for instance, will rely on three boosters similar in concept to SpaceX's Falcon Heavy. Their crewed lunar mission will actually require two Long March 10 launches, a complex operation that demands rigorous testing and reliability. The Mengzhou spacecraft and Lanyue lander must also undergo environmental testing to prove they can withstand the extreme conditions of space and the lunar surface. Crew training and additional mission rehearsals will also be critical. Now let us turn to NASA. The Artemis program officially took its first step with the successful Artemis 1 mission, an uncrewed test flight around the moon, which was completed a few years ago. But that mission was the result of over a decade of work and tens of billions of dollars invested. Progress since then has been slower than hoped. The Artemis 2 mission, originally planned to carry astronauts around the moon, has been delayed until at least 2026 due to problems with the Space Launch System rocket and the Orion spacecraft. Beyond that, there is persistent uncertainty about funding and political support. NASA's history shows that large-scale programs often risk delays or cancellations when political priorities shift. In contrast, China benefits from a centralized approach. Its space program does not rely on shifting budgets or elections. Instead, it operates under long-term strategic plans with consistent government backing. This stability allows it to move forward without the same political turbulence that NASA often faces. When one considers these factors side by side, Cheng's conclusion becomes understandable. 
On paper, the U.S. is ahead. In reality, China is moving faster with focused momentum, while NASA faces delays and uncertainties. The U.S. still has strengths, including SpaceX's rapid development of the Starship system, which will be critical for Artemis. But the gap is narrowing, and the possibility that China could plant its flag on the moon before NASA returns is no longer unthinkable. This is why the new lunar race is so compelling. It's not only about technology, but also about strategy, consistency, and the ability to adapt. The U.S. has the legacy of Apollo and the unmatched innovation of private industry. China has the advantage of discipline, stability, and steady progress. Which of these approaches will reach the moon first may define the next great chapter in space exploration. Meanwhile, NASA's partners and contractors have not shown much convincing progress, and this has raised doubts has raised doubts about whether the U.S. can keep its lead in the current moon race. SpaceX, for example, is currently under the most scrutiny since it carries the most urgent responsibility and holds the key role in enabling Artemis 3. The company's Starship is often praised for its ambitious design and potential, but the reality is that the vehicle has yet to complete even a full successful orbital flight. To this day, Starship has not reached orbit in a fully controlled manner, and several tests have ended in partial success or outright failure. Many of the tasks that will be absolutely necessary for a crewed lunar mission, such as stable payload deployment, long-duration orbital operations, and precise controlled landings are not yet proven. The Starship HLS, or Human Landing System, vital for Artemis 3, has yet to launch. Its required orbital refueling system has not been built or tested, leaving SpaceX less than two years to deliver a fully operational HLS prove refueling in orbit, and demonstrate astronaut safety. The challenge is immense under such a short timeline. Blue Origin also lags behind. Its Blue Moon Lander exists only as a Mark I cargo version, while the crewed Mark II remains a concept with no clear schedule. Progress is further slowed by New Glenn, which has yet to fly despite years of delays. Recent U.S. robotic lunar lander attempts have only deepened concerns. Fuel leaks, navigation errors, and software failures have plagued missions with several craft reaching the surface but failing soon after. Compared to China's near-perfect lunar record, the contrast is stark. Other contractors face similar problems. Boeing's space launch system has become a symbol of cost overruns and delays, consuming tens of billions and over a decade for just one launch. Together, these setbacks cast doubt on America's readiness for the next great lunar milestone. China's advantage is not only in hardware but in strategy. Its government, agencies, and companies all work in unison toward one clear goal landing humans on the moon and building a base. Each mission from the Chang'e program to Long March 10 tests is a deliberate step forward. NASA, by contrast, often lacks consistency. Deadlines slip, priorities shift between the moon and Mars, and political pressures create uncertainty. SpaceX focuses on Mars as the main target, treating the moon as secondary, which weakens urgency in the lunar race. Meanwhile, China has already outlined firm plans for Tianwen-3, aiming to return Mars samples by 2031. NASA's Mars sample return, however, faces delays and rising costs. Experts like Cheng now believe China may land astronauts on the moon before the U.S. does. Starship could change that if it proves itself soon. Do you agree with this warning? Comment yes or no? Then don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow SpaceX's journey into history. The U.S., led by NASA and SpaceX, is now at a critical juncture where its goals in space must be reconsidered and more clearly defined. Both the moon and Mars should be recognized as equally urgent and important. While humanity reached the moon in the last century, the context of of today's race is very different. The focus is no longer on visiting and studying. The goal now is to establish permanent bases, develop resources, and expand sustainable operations. This is why the moon cannot be skipped or considered a step already completed. Beating China in this new lunar race also carries significant weight for national pride and global leadership. At the same time, Mars represents a separate but equally vital ambition. It symbolizes humanity's transition into a truly multi-planetary civilization. Establishing a human presence on Mars will create an outpost for deep space exploration and secure a new frontier for human progress. In this race as well, it is important for the U.S. to stay ahead of China. 
Both destinations, the Moon and Mars, matter for different reasons, and both require unwavering focus and determination. To achieve this, NASA and its partners must adopt a sharper and more disciplined strategy. They cannot allow progress on one goal to interfere with the other. Milestones should be set with greater clarity and accountability, leaving no room for uncertainty. This is especially important because progress builds confidence both within the space industry and among the public. SpaceX has shown strong determination when it comes to Mars, largely due to Musk's long-standing commitment to that vision. However, the same focus must now be applied to the moon. Artemis 3 is on the horizon and SpaceX must show concrete results soon, ideally before the end of this year and into the next. Encouragingly, there are reasons to be confident. SpaceX President Gwynne Shotwell, along with NASA's interim administrator Sean Duffy, have both recently confirmed that Starship will be ready to support Artemis 3 on the current schedule for 2027. This reassurance comes at a crucial time. With the second half of 2025 already underway, the pace must increase significantly if the U.S. is to remain on track. In terms of resources and potential, the U.S. holds a significant advantage over China. It benefits from unmatched experience, far greater investment capacity, and a powerful network of leading companies that form the backbone of its aerospace sector. These advantages, however, must be fully maximized. Without disciplined execution and sharper focus, even the strongest starting position can be eroded over time. Time. The key lies in aligning strategies, accelerating progress, and maintaining a unified sense of purpose. Another important factor is the need to carefully monitor China's progress. The country has consistently demonstrated that it is a formidable rival. Its steps in recent years reveal not only determination, but also an ability to achieve milestones ahead of schedule. No one can fully predict how quickly China may accelerate its timeline, and underestimating its progress would be a dangerous mistake. Keeping a close watch on every move, from spacecraft development to lunar tests, will be essential. The moon race between the U.S. and China is therefore shaping up to be one of the most unpredictable and defining competitions of this century. It is filled with challenges, surprises, and opportunities. The outcome will not only determine which nation places its flag first on new ground, but will also define the course of humanity's future in space. With strong leadership, goals, and the full weight of its industrial power, the U.S. has every opportunity to continue its dominance on the moon and extend that success to Mars. The time to act is now, and the coming years will reveal whether this nation can turn its vast potential into undeniable victory. In any case, folks, this has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Thank you so much for watching, and always remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will follow you so long as you keep looking up.